Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Firefighters battled a mobile home fire overnight in western Kelloland. Flames were coming through the roof when firefighters arrived late last night on Bradsky Road in Rapid Valley, east of Rapid City. Crews were able to contain the fire despite having to haul water to the scene and deal with frozen hose lines. One firefighter suffered a fall and was taken to the hospital for evaluation. We are learning more about the sex crimes that landed a longtime South Dakota law enforcement officer in federal prison. A judge sentenced Francis Kistler to 25 years behind bars for having inappropriate relationships with at least two young girls. While working as a sheriff's deputy in Fall River County, court papers say Kistler used his work phone to exchange nude pictures with a 13 and 17 year old girl. Court documents say he'd previously worked in Custer County but resigned because of sexual misconduct with a minor. In that case, he did not face charges. Some businesses say panhandlers in downtown Sioux Falls are getting much more aggressive in soliciting money to the point of turning violent. Police say the warmer the weather gets, the more panhandlers show up on city sidewalks. But some people say the large number of panhandlers are scaring customers away from downtown businesses. We've seen them where they're starting to enter a retail store or a coffee shop and then somebody starts screaming at them or they're blocking their way and they'll just go the di a different direction to try to get away. Police say while panhandling is on the rise in Sioux Falls, there haven't been many reported cases of aggressiveness among the panhandlers, which is prohibited by city ordinance. Let's go to check out the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. It's a cold start to the day out there, especially East River, so keep that in mind while we do rebound in the afternoon. That's going to be pretty cold out there. Case in point, there's a view outside on our downtown camera. Beautiful sunrise with a view southeast, but it's four degrees outside. Not much of a breeze, if anything at all, so it's an honest four, but... We don't need the wind. It's cold enough out there. Zero Brookings, Watertown, and Ortonville. We've reached one degree above zero. Worthington, Sisseton, and Aberdeen. Four in Yankton. Fourteen, though, in Pier 20, Rapid City, and Valentine. There's the breeze. That's a little more potent, if you will, to the west. Not so much to the east, but again, it doesn't take much to put wind chills below zero. East River. Wind chill of minus 15 in Aberdeen, minus 13 Watertown and Brookings, minus 9 in Huron, even minus 10 toward Faith. So, like I said, bundle up this morning, but you won't need to do so this afternoon, especially West River. Not a whole lot going on today. It's going to be a pretty quiet first half of the weekend, even with a warm front lurking up toward Manitoba. That being said, things come off the rails by Sunday into the start of next week. We'll talk about that coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, a little boy in Rapid City received a special birthday present on Friday. Three-year-old Maddox has a fascination with garbage trucks and makes sure to say hello to the drivers. So for his birthday, six garbage trucks passed by his home, and his favorite garbage man gave him a gift. It's just something that happens outside his house, and when he's at home during the day, he gets to see something happening outside. And um, every time when Bob drives by, he makes sure to wave to him and honk to him, so he knows that he's going to see somebody, if you will, on garbage day. The birthday party was garbage theme. There was everything from green cupcakes to garbage goodie bags. Well, it is Wiener Dog Night at this evening's Stampede Hockey Game against the Omaha Lancers. The puck drops at the Denny Sanford Premier Center at 6.05. Five dollars from every ticket purchase goes to the Dakota Dachshund Rescue. The races take place between periods, and you can meet adoptable dogs from Dakota Dachshund Rescue before and during the game. Jurassic Quest is touted as North America's largest and most realistic dinosaur event. It's taking place at the WH Line Fairgrounds this weekend. Today's hours are from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday's hours are 9 to 6. Tickets start at $19 and $22. Sioux Empire on Tap is a craft beer festival taking place at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Tickets start at $45 and include three hours of sampling and a souvenir glass. The afternoon session goes from 1 to 4. The evening session is from 5 to 8. Adam? 
Well, like I said, it is going to be a quiet start to the day out there. Satellite and radar showing that warm front up to the north, but it's going to be what comes around on the second half of the weekend that we're really going to keep an eye on. So we're going to go right over to Futurecast, and you can see exactly what we're going to be keeping an eye on over the next about oh, 48 or so hours, where it's just going to really unravel quickly with the passage of a cold front. Ahead of it, we really don't have a whole lot of anything going on. We get a warm day to the west, warmth south of Highway 14 for your day on Sunday. Depending on the passage of this cold front, we may be able to bump that up a little bit further to the north. But watch what happens. We get two things to occur. One, snow builds in overnight into Monday. And two, it gets cold and it gets very cold as we head toward the middle of the week. But we do have that accumulating snowfall we're going to be watching first Monday into Tuesday before things quiet down by the middle of the week. Winter storm watch in effect Sunday evening through Monday night. Eagle Butte, Rapid City towards Spearfish, Lead and Deadwood up toward Buffalo and Bison as they may see several inches of accumulating snowfall out that way. Now, depending on where we can get the heaviest axis of snow to set up, that's going to depend on who gets the most. Right now, uh, thinking is the best opportunity for a good plowable snow further north of Highway 14 toward Watertown, Aberdeen, Mulbridge, and then up toward the North Dakota border. Sioux Falls could still get several inches of snow, but I think the bullseye is going to be for the northern third right now of South Dakota. From there, we do have a lot of cold air to talk about that sticks around through a majority of the rest of your February. Now, keep an eye out for future updates, both on the cold, not to mention the potential for some snow, as we're going to continue to iron out the details as we head through the next 24 or so hours. But today, enjoy the day if you can. Highs in the 30s and 40s to the east, 50s to near 60 out west. Lows tonight, 20s to low 30s with your seven day forecast featuring oh, a lot of warmth through Sunday, but then things unravel through midweek with snow Monday and Tuesday and temperatures in the single digits above zero by day and sub zero by night in the Sioux Falls area. It'll get even colder to the north and east where we may not even reach zero for a high. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Teloland.com.